Well, it was certainly a very chilly one today. The sunshine didn't really help all too much, but good news. Temperatures will be on the rise in the next couple of days, but unfortunately we have to get through tonight. Right now, downtown, we're at 14 degrees, 14 up in Cortland, Ithaca, 13 degrees as well in Owego, 12 degrees in Saratawanda, 14. Now, for tonight, we have area of high pressure in place, which means clear skies, calm winds, and the snowpack, and all that is just perfect ingredients for a very, very chilly night ahead for us. Most of us getting down into the single digits. So chilly start to our morning, but temperatures will be rebounding until about the 30s, seasonable for this time of the year. And then check this, 40s on Monday. I'll we'll have more on that in just a little bit. We did see some lake effect snow coming off of Lake Cayuga, just to the south of it. But that, all that has been drying out now. Now with the area of high pressure working in, dry air at the surface and aloft as well drying things out and also clearing things out as well. And that will really allow for those temperatures to really escape into the atmosphere. Here's that blizzard that nailed the northeast yesterday. Now pushing off is just the northern edge of Maine right now, still getting in on some of that snow. But otherwise, everyone now is pretty good. Now I'm telling you, some of those pictures and photos of the storm over in Connecticut, Massachusetts, incredible. You know, many of them getting three feet of snow or more. Now, we're not out of the woods. Tomorrow will be quiet, but then we'll have another system we're keeping an eye on that's just off to the west, and that will be making its way into our region by Monday, and that will give us some rain-snow mix at the start and then changing over to mostly snow, but not anticipating a whole big impact from this. So, hey, how much snow did we actually get from this storm? Well, up at the airport, not a whole lot, but then look at this over in the northeast. A lot of snow. Look at this. Milford, 38 degrees. They get the Golden Shovel Award down in Long Island, anywhere from 30 or 20 more inches or so. Boston, 21.6. Nashua, 24. Two feet up there. And Augusta, almost two feet. So they're certainly digging out over there. So here's what we have going on for tonight. Very cold air mass in place, all thanks to our front, the area of high pressure to our south. As this pushes off to the east, we will get into a more southerly flow that will allow some of that warmer air to filter into our region, especially by tomorrow. Again, temperatures should be averaging right around the lower 30s to 35 or so. Monday morning, here's our next system. Notice the pink. By tomorrow morning, uh, excuse me, Monday morning on the onset, we will probably see some freezing rain sleep with this. But then as temperatures increase, notice a lot of rain behind it. That will be later in the, in the morning, afternoon hours. We could be seeing rain heavy at times. Then once this occluded front and the cold front swings through throughout the day on, on Monday, colder air will be filtering in behind it and then we will be getting in on some lake effect snow and that will last us probably until about Tuesday or so. So for tonight, mainly clear, bitterly cold. I'm going with a low of four degrees for tonight and then for tomorrow we will be seeing temperatures rebound fairly nicely, seasonable. We should be right around the mid-30s or so, part, mostly sunny skies. Clouds will be increasing though tomorrow night ahead of this next storm. Lows only getting down to 28 degrees, not too bad, increase in clouds. And then by the early morning hours, we will be seeing those rain and possibly a mix early and then changing over to probably just rain in the afternoon. Temperatures will be climbing into about the upper 30s to lower 40s on Monday. So that will certainly feel nice after the last couple of days we have been seeing. Once the system pulls away, colder air filters in behind it with some leftover snow showers on Tuesday. Wednesday so far looks pretty good. We should be seeing highs right around the mid to upper 30s. For Valentine's Day, we will have a system hug the coast. Today's models are showing that it will stay off to the south and east. So I'm going to keep an eye on this because, so, of course, Valentine's Day. Everyone wants to be out and about celebrating with their loved ones. So I'll keep an eye on that to make sure it's weather. So far, it looks pretty good. Back to you, Allie.